next topic is uh, some properties of uh, divisibility a b c d are integers and first theorem is what if a divides to b then we show we have to show a divides to b x then a divides to b and a divides to c then a divides to b plus c also a divides to b x plus c y for x and y for any x and y belongs to z and this is a divides to b and b divides to c then a divides to c and now we have to show m is not equal to 0 in z a divides to b then a m divides to b m a divides to b and c divides to d then a c divides to b d a c divides to b d and a b divides to b c then a divides to c so the proof of the first that a divides to b then we have to show a divides to b x so what is what is given a divides to b so what is its meaning b express in the form a into some integer either use c letter or k letter for some c belongs to z or some k belongs to z because a divides to b means b express in the form a into some integer use k letter or c letter then uh, uh, where to show a divides to bx a divides to bx when a divides to bx if bx express in the form a into some integer so here is b is ac and uh, so multiply both side by x so what do we have bx is equal to acx and then write in the form at a in bracket cx and this c and x both are integers and therefore cx is integer and that is uh, we do not cx by either c dash c dash and where this c dash or cx is integer and therefore this bx express in the form a into some integer b c x is integer or bx express as a into c dash for some c dash belongs to z and therefore a divides to bx because bx express in the form a into some integer means a divides to bx by using the definition of what divisibility what is the definition of divisibility this is the definition of divisibility that is a divides to b if and only b is equal to a k for some k belongs to j that is if b is equal to a k that is if b express in the form a into some integer it means that a divides to b this is two way statement that if a divides to b then we have this and if we have b is equal to a k for some k belongs to j then we say a divides to b that is if b express in the form a into some integer then we say a divides to b so here is uh, we have b x as a into some integer means a divides to b x by reverse use of this definition that is b is equal to a k then we say a divides to b that is b express in the form a into some integer then we say a divides to b so here b x express in the form a into some integer means a divides to b x and that's that is we have to prove that is a d a divides to b and a divides to b x now the second is what a is divides to b and a divides to c then we have to show a divides to b plus c so uh, since a divides to b we have b is equal to a into some integer so use k1 as a integer and also a divides to c this is assumption that a divides to b and a divides to c and a divides to c means c express in the form a into some integer that is suppose k2 is the that integer okay and then uh, we have to show a divides to b plus c when a divides to b plus c if b plus c express in the form a into some integer so consider b plus c and what is the value of b is a k1 the value of c is a k2 and take a as common this k1 plus k2 indicate this k1 plus k2 by k and obviously k1 and k2 are integer therefore k1 plus k2 that is k is integer and that's why what we have b plus c express in the form a into some integer a into some integer and therefore a divides to b plus c because b plus c express in the form a into some integer and therefore a divides to b plus c okay uh, well we can also show that if a divides to b and a divides to c then a divides to b minus c obviously very simple that is consider here uh, write the meaning of a divides to b that b express in the form a into k1 c divides to uh, a divides to c means c express in the form a into k2 and then consider b minus c that is a k1 minus a k2 take a as common and then k1 minus k2 indicate by k obviously k1 and k2 are integers and subtraction of two integer is integer therefore k1 minus k2 is integer and so 
a minus b minus c express in the form a into some integer means a divides to b minus c so we can also show this that a divides to b and a divides to c then a divides to b minus c now we have to show this uh, second sentence that uh, that is what uh, if a divides to b and a divides to c then a divides to bx plus c where x and y are integers so uh, again write the meaning of a divides to b means uh, a divides to b means b express in the form a k1 and c divides a divides to c means c express in the form a to k to for some k to belongs to z and then consider instead of this b plus c consider consider bx plus c uh, ax plus uh, ax plus b b1 consider ax plus b1 or we can use the uh, uh, number one uh, theorem to prove the this sentence that a divides to bx plus c or consider bx plus c1 like this b plus c consider bx plus c1 what is the value of bx plus c1 bx plus c y substitute b as a k1 and substitute uh, c as a k2 and therefore and take a as common so what we have in bracket k1 x plus k2 y and indicate this k1 x plus k2 y by k obviously this k1 x plus k2 y is the integer because uh, all k1 k2 x y are integers and addition and multiplication of integer is integer and then we, what do we have b x plus c y express in the form a into some integer means a divides to b x plus c y okay or another proof is what as a divides to b implies a divides to b x for some x for any x belongs to z by using this a divides to b then a divides to b x and therefore a divides to b x and also as a divides to c uh, for any y what we have a divides to c y and by using one that is if a divides to b and a divides to c uh, then a divides to b plus c here we have a divides to uh, a divides to bx and a divides to cy therefore a divides to bx plus cy okay so we can uh, give the proof of this uh, second part of this uh, uh, theorem by using two methods either use this method or uh, consider uh, that is assume a divides to b and a divides to c right write its meaning that b express in the form a k1 c express in the form a k2 and consider bx plus cy and express it is it as a to some integer and obviously uh, it express in the form a k1 x plus k2 y indicate that k1 x plus k2 y is k and then we say a divides to bx plus c y and also we can show that uh, if a divides to b and a divides to c then a divides to bx minus c y that is instead of this considering bx plus c y consider bx minus c y and express it in the form a to some integer so next third is what we have to show if a divides to b and b divides to c then a divides to c that is a uh, uh, one divides to other and other divides to third one then first divide to third one that is we have to show this uh, 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 divisibility relation is a transitive relation when we say that relation is transitive relation if one element is related to second and second is related to third and if then first is related to third then we say the uh, uh, relation is a transitive relation that is if x related to y and y related to z indicates x related to z then we say the relation is a transitive relation so now we have to show if a divides to b and b divides to c so this is given that a divides to b and b divides to c and we have to show a divides to c so write the meaning of a divides to b as a divides to b b express in the form a into some integer either use uh, x y uh, here later or c or uh, any other uh, c is already there so use k1 k2 k3 k uh, here is, uh, the letter is used uh, to indicate uh, some integer x so this a divides to b means b express in the form a into some integer also b divides to c implies c express in the form b into some integer for some y belongs to z either use x y or k1 k2 and then we have to show a divides to c so when a divides to c if c express in the form a into some integer so consider c and what is the value of c is b y and what is b is a x so what do we have c is equal to b y is equal to a x y and then write as b c a x so then then write c is equal to a write x into y in one bracket and this uh, suppose indicate a, a 
x into y by x dash. Then what we have c is equal to a x dash. Obviously, this uh, x uh, is integer, y is integer, and multiplication of two integer is in integer, and therefore x into y is integer. And therefore, c expressed in the form a into some integer indicates or uh, implies a divides to c. And this uh, this is why to show this uh, property divisibility is transitive property. The next one is what? Uh, number four, we have to show a m is not equal to zero and given that a divides to b and we have to show a m divides to b m. So write first a divides, meaning of a divides to b. So a divides to b indicates that b express in the form a into some integer for x belongs to there. And then multiply and now, now we have to show a m divides to b m. So when a m divides to b m, if b m express in the form a m into some integer. So just multiply to this equation b is equal to ax by m. So what do we have bm is equal to axm and then write uh, axm in this fashion that am x. So uh, this x is integer and so bm expressed in the form am into some integer implies am divides to bm. Okay, because bm expressed in the form am into some integer and therefore am divides to bm. Now the fifth number the th theorem number fifth. If a divides to b and c divides to, then we have to uh, show a c divides to b. So first write the meaning of a a divides to b and c divides to d. So a divides to b means b express in the form a into some integer for some x belongs to it. And c divides to d uh, means d express in the form some uh, c into some integer for some y belongs to it. And now we have to show. Now we have to show. Uh, a c divides to b d. When a c divides to b d, if b d express in the form a c into some integer. So consider b d. Consider b d. And uh, what is the value of b? Is a x. What is the value of d? C y. And so write this uh, a x plus c y in this fashion. A c into x into y. And obviously this. Uh, Suppose this x into y is k, then it, it is integer because x and y are integers and multiplication of two integer is integer means uh, this uh, k is integer and therefore bd express in the form ac into some integer implies therefore ac divides to bd. Okay, and that is that is we have to show that ac divides to bd. And then the last one is what? If AB divides to BC, then we have to show A divides to C. So first write the meaning of AB divides to BC. What is the meaning of uh, AB divides to BC? That AB divides to BC, we have this BC expressed in the form AB into some integer. So for uh, uh, integer use the letter X or K or K1, then uh, BC expressed in the form AB into some integer. And uh, then what is uh, given now here is uh, ac is equal to bc ac divides to bc therefore bc express in the form ab into x for some x belongs to z and then cancel this b of both sides so what do we have what do we have bc is equal to write this is this is b as ab is not equal to zero also because uh, uh, ab ab is a divisor and divisor is always not equal to zero means b is not equal to zero and uh, cancel this b of both sides and then what do you have c is equal to ax c is equal to ax and therefore c express in the form a into some integer implies a divides to c which shows that a divides to c okay so just cancel the b of both sides uh, for that b is not equal to zero required b is not equal to zero as a b is not equal to zero because a b is divisor a b is not equal to zero and implies b is not equal to zero okay so just cancel b of both sides and therefore we have this a b is not equal to zero means both are a and both are uh, a and b are not equal to zero so when the multiplication of two integer is not equal to zero if both are not equal to zero that's why we can cancel this b of both sides so just write the meaning of a b divides to b c that's b c express in the form a b into x and just cancel this b okay and therefore we have c is equal to x and which shows that a divides to c so next is the Euclid's lemma uh, is very important as far as the exam concern 
so what is the uh, question on this uh, theorem that uh, state and group euclid's lemma so if p is prime so what is the pr meaning of prime prime means the numbers that are divisible by one or itself are called prime so p is prime and uh, a b are integers such that p reverse to a b then uh, either prove that p reverse to a or p reverse to b so this is the euclid's lemma and we will see the proof of this theorem in the next lecture.